morning to all as a replacement alternative as a part of reduction refinement and replacement today we will be discussing about the zephra fish as an experimental animal model as we know that zephra fish are phylogenetically more distant from human than rodents are but they possess ortho locks of 82 percentage of the human disease associated gene the zephra fish assays using larval zephra fish could be used to, to replace animal toxicity studies to find out target genes pathway mechanisms for the validation purposes it can also be used to, to identify toxic drugs candidates allowing safer molecules to be tested in mammalian models so that there will be reduction in the usage of animals. The embryonic and larval zephra fish models offers refinement to animal studies because the embryos are fertilized externally and are transparent through the early days of life. So, it allows non-invasive observation of toxicities. And this zephra fish uh, is uh, uh, the zoological name of zephra fish is called Banuario. It's a tropical uh, freshwater fish belonging to the minnow family. Uh, and it has become another uh, popular model organisms to study fundamental biological questions. It is, uh, oh, it is 1 to 1.5 inches in length that grows easily in aquaria both uh, freshwater as well as in the uh, salt water uh, this as i said these embryos are uh, highly transparent uh, they develop externally from mothers that is the advantage over the other uh, experimental animal models so it permits direct assessment of uh, drug effects in internal organs for example, in two days for uh, post fertilization zephra fish larva, the organogenesis is complete. So many organs may be visualized. So this is a very good model for embryo toxicity studies. The non-pigmentary areas of larvae are transparent, hence possibility to observe individual regions of the brain and heart. So, if you compare the zephra fish with the rodent, how uh, it is uh, superior, how the zephra fish are superior over the rodent, no need to get any approval from the Institutional Animal Ethical Committee to carry out uh, experiments or to do the uh, research on the zephra fish. That means you don't need any uh, ethical uh, requirement. So in, in zephra fish, we can easily induce diabetes mellitus by simple immersion in high glucose water. Whereas in rodents, uh, we have to administer uh, uh, some chemicals, either aloxone or uh, uh, streptosotosin and uh, the mortality induction as well as the mortality rate uh, is very uh, from experiment to experiment. Zephra fish are inexpensive and it is very easy to handle, but in rodents it is expensive and very hard to handle. Adult and larval zephra fish are suitable for screening studies, but rodents require the uh, ethical issues. The fluorescence imaging of whole organism is possible for uh, glucose uptake analysis in case of uh, zephra fish. But uh, rodents are uh, amendable for fluorescence laser based uh, imaging. So we prefer uh, the zephra fish uh, to do the research. The advantages of uh, zephra fish, as you say, uh, if you see the advantages of zephra fish as a model organism, they are optically translucent embryos, rapid hatching of the eggs. The fertilization is uh, more quicker than the, uh, the uh, rodent. The maintenance cost is significantly lower than those for uh, mammals. And this is uh, uh, very specific for uh, molecular and uh, genetic analysis. 
uh, as uh, Jeffrey eggs are fertilized and develop outside the mother's body with an ideal model organisms for studying the embryo toxicity studies. And if you go for uh, genetics related studies, the 70 percentage of the protein coding human genes are related to genes found in the Jeffra fish. And the similarity of the 70 percentage of the genes uh, between Jeffra fish and the human. Uh, the genes associated in pathophysiology of the human diseases are also associated with the Jeffra fish. 84 percentage of the genes known to be associated with human diseases have a Jeffra fish counterpart. They can also be cloned from somatic cells. They can be made transgenic. As a vertebrate, the Jeffra fish has the same major organs and tissues as humans. Their muscles, blood, kidney and eyes share many features with the human systems. So the Jiffa fish uh, uh, can be used as a model to study the regeneration of the heart, regeneration of the tail, uh, regeneration of the retinal and uh, human pigmentations and mainly it can be used for the uh, cancer research and also for autism. So uh, as a part of uh, uh, replacement alternative, we have made some attempt to do practical uh, uh, experiments with the Jeffra fish. So we have tried with the local anesthetics activity and also uh, to demonstrate the uh, conversion activity of some CNS stimulant. So here the fish has an ex experimental model for uh, local anesthetics. So uh, when the local, when, when the fish were uh, uh, exposed to the uh, local anesthetics and the fish started to floats with uh, belly up. Uh, this is the uh, uh, experiment which uh, we have carried out in uh, uh, as a part of uh, replacement alternatives. We have tried uh, Jeffra fish to demonstrate the uh, local anesthetics uh, as well as the convulsant activity of certain drugs to our students. So the first uh, video explains about the local anesthetics activity of uh, lignocaine. 1% uh, concentration of the lignocaine, uh, 1 ml is added with 100 ml of the saline to which the Jeffra fish is uh, uh, kept. So here you can see the immobility of uh, the Jeffra fish and also it uh, floats with its belly up. If any fish floats with uh, its belly up, uh, indicates the local anesthetics activity of uh, given drugs. Uh, next we have tried the uh, <coughs> convulsant activity of the picrotoxin. <coughs> as you know that any CNS stimulant on higher concentration produces convulsions. So here you can see the convulsions produced by picrotoxin. And different uh, concentration of the picrotoxin uh, we have used for uh, this experiments. Uh, CNS stimulant like cortical stimulant or medullary stimulant, respiratory stimulant can able to produce convulsions in Jeffra fish. And this is Jeffra uh, fish uh, for uh, embryo toxicity assessment. We can compare these two photographs where uh, uh, the photograph uh, A which is uh, treated with uh, vehicle whereas uh, the photograph B is uh, treated with uh, methyl mercury chloride uh, in 4 to 24 hours post fertilized uh, uh, Jeffra fish embryo. Here uh, in this photo here you can see the uh, normal eye, distinct eye, ear and brain structures. Eye, brain, ear, muscle structures are distinct uh, in uh, vehicle uh, treated uh, embryos of uh, Jeffra fish. Whereas uh, in the photograph B, this is the embryo exposed to methyl mercury chloride, where we are unable to uh, distri distinctly see the uh, eye, brain, ear, and uh, muscles. So, the Jeffra fish can be an ideal uh, model to to demonstrate uh, to, to demonstrate the uh, local anesthetics activity or. Uh, local anesthetics activity of lignocaine or uh, 
uh, convulsant activity of uh, any CNS stimulant and this can also be used for the embryo toxicity studies. So with this uh, I am concluding uh, this uh, lecture. Thank you.